Happy Monday, Facebook. This is Ronnie with Ask Ronnie. And the question of the day comes from me personally. For you. Why is the church so sin conscious? I hear it in the language all the time. Where we are just so focused on what we're not doing right. What other people are doing to get into sin. And it's not about what God is doing and how see here's the thing we couldn't save ourselves there was nothing we could do to be holy and righteous before God the only thing we could do is put faith in Christ to become saved and to have that debt of sin completely wiped out 2 Corinthians 5 17 we are new creatures in Christ the old has passed away and the new has come we are new completely renewed in our spirits but we spend a lot of time focused on the flesh and how the flesh is falling short. But even God knew that our, in, our, in our flesh we could not be righteous, we could not be perfect. That's why he sent Jesus. So, you know, we get a hung up on holiness. It's such a, a big buzzword right now is holiness. And the issue I have is that we're working so hard to be holy before God, but um, it's almost like if we're not holy and who's determining that by the way it differs from person to person what really looks like holiness but that somehow our holiness is what's going to unlock the blessings of God in our life that if we're not experiencing God's best it's because we're not living holy but the reality is God sees us as holy and righteous we are the sons and daughters of God he sees us by our spirit which is identical to Christ that's scripture that is who we are. But as long as the enemy can keep us looking at what we're falling short in, then, you know, we will always strive to get what we already have. Everything we need, all things pertaining to life and godliness, were provided in that single sacrifice of Christ on the cross. It's enough to rejoice. And so if you understand that, then here's the next piece. Holiness is not to get God to do something. Holiness is for us. We live holy because we know that the wages of sin is death. That the results of living in sin is destruction. Anything that God has for us, all that is available to us in the spirit, becomes that much harder to obtain if we are living in sin. If we're falling short of holiness in, in how we behave and, and in our thought life then it, all it does is hinder our blessings from, from coming to fruition in our lives. But it doesn't mean that God is withholding from us. He is always loving. He is always righteous. It's his desire to bless us, to give us abundant life. But if we're not living holy, that's what's going to stop the blessings of God.